You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Fasting. You know, at this past week, uh, for four days, I fasted. Uh, it was a liquid fast. Liquid fast, uh, just water and fruit juices and stuff. Um, since I had a cold during the time, still nursing it, I did have uh, some broth. But uh, all liquid. And it's something I'll probably do keep up for, you know, fast intermittently. Maybe two or three days out of the week uh, until I reach my goals. Because let me tell you what, Rob has been blessed lately. Rob's been blessed for uh, really the past few months, really a couple years. And so, you know, Rob's had the ability to eat wherever and <laughs> eat well wherever, right? Yeah, a lot of businesses, uh, they've been feeling the support from a brother. Right. But anyway, I was just like, nah, I got to get rid of some of this. Right. So I've been fasting. But and you know what it is good? And I would recommend people fast. It's ironic. I used to fast all the time when I was um, young. I used to fast all the time, you know, do a little fast, break the fast, say a prayer, all that stuff. But it's good because sometimes you just got to sit back. You know, like a food fast, it's, you know, it's not even so much as weight, but just getting stuff out your system, right? Just for a health thing, it was an issue of constipation if um, after four days of liquid, you still got solids coming out. So it's just like, you know, I got to deal with this. And I know that might be a little bit much for people, but, you know, it's important for health reasons and everything. But that's just one type of fast. That's just one type of fast. Sometimes we got to fast from other things in life. You know, one of the biggest things is, you know, some people will fast from social media. You know, fast from social media sometimes. Sometimes take some time off. Just don't be on there. Like even now, right now, it's kind of my job to be on social media. But believe it or not, if I'm not doing a podcast video uploading, Something I don't spend that much time on it. It's uh, I spend just enough time just to see what was going on and check on my stuff. But then it's just like, yeah, I turn it off. I turn it off and I have my computer off like significant parts of the day. You know, just sometimes you got to go away from it. And then there is uh, sometime next month, I'll probably be off of social media for about three or four days. But I'll make an official announcement. About that. That's uh, because I'll be doing a a workshop during those days. But we'll get to that. But, um, you know, fast from social media, uh, fast from wherever. You know, if you're a shopaholic, stay out those stores for a week. I know that'll be tough, but stay off of it. Um, You know, if you got friends that you hang around who, I don't know, they either drain you or, you know, they're good people and stuff, but, you know. Hearing their problems might be a little bit too much sometimes. Sometimes you got to fast from them. You know? Sometimes a married couple has to fast. You know, sometimes, you know what? It's like, you know what? Why don't we go on separate vacations? You know, we need some time away. You know, for a week. You know, just, just to really, you know, be to yourselves. Because... The thing is, you don't you don't have to give up anything, but sometimes it gives you a perspective just to step away from something. You know, it gives you perspective. Um, you know, and like I say, it could be in anything. I know people who, are, who work out hardcore who might stay away from the gym for a week because it recharges you. Sometimes you get stuck into something. And one thing about fasting, whether you're doing a food fast, social media fast, wherever, sometimes it gives you a perspective. It gives you a perspective about life. It gives you a perspective about what you're doing. And sometimes you just need to sit back some and think about it, right? Because one thing during this fast, it's uh, it was very productive otherwise. You know, 
beyond the health benefit because all of a sudden your mind is thinking clearer and then you see some people. I've had to drop quite a bit of dead weight this week. Quite a bit. And as far as people, um, ideas that didn't serve my purpose, and also gave me time to really clarify stuff. It clarifies. When you kind of step back a little bit, it clarifies everything. Like one thing in this country, I think a big business, I think a big business that could develop, especially since you got a lot of property out here and land. If somebody, if like retreat centers, if somebody just says, some corporations just say, you know, we're just going to build retreat centers where somebody can just get away. They don't have to be religious or anything. Just, just get away from everything. You know, fast, fast from the fast paced world that we live in this, you know, hyper capitalistic world. You know, you could fast from that or um, fast from TV. You know what? That's a fast everybody should do. You know what? I got a story about that. You Because uh, when my sons were young. You know, they were they were watching. We were letting them watch a little bit uh, TV more than they should have. You know, and I remember one time I some my son did something. I told him he had to turn off the TV. He got mad at me. And for him getting mad at me, I had to punish him. So it was like, hey, no TV for a day. It's amazing how creative he got. And sometimes, yeah, that was a kid. But sometimes adults need to do that. I mean, think about it. Everybody's watching this. How many people are so addicted to whatever housewife show is on or even sometimes to whatever sports show is on, um, wherever? Sometimes we're so addicted to that that it's like we're not really doing stuff for ourselves. You know, we could be addicted to driving every place or we need a fast from driving. Sometimes just walk some places or go for a walk. Just be out in nature. You know, fast from it. And I think everybody should do that. I think everybody, you know, and it goes beyond just having a vacation, but just really taking time away from something, taking time out of your routine. Because especially when you take time out of your routine, maybe say, you know what, I'm going to fast from doing this monotonous thing every day. You know, I'm going to take four days off or five days off, a week off if I can. And sometimes you look at it and you're just like, wow. Because one thing, one thing, if we always constantly eating, 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 and uh, or even exercising, 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 or in our in our phones all the time, watching TV, watching or whatever we're doing, sometimes we're not really thinking. We're just going along. We're sleepwalking. We're not thinking. It's such a routine that you're not. You're not. You're like. Wow, and, and most of us get into it. It's even myself, we get into routines. But the thing is, yeah, we gotta get out of that. We really do. So that's the important thing. The important thing is every now and then fast. And you know what? After the fast, regardless of what it is, you feel better. You get a different perspective, and. You can really you can really go forward and do something. And you might have to change course or you might have to reinforce what you've been doing. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you what. Sometimes when you sit back and you're doing something, sometimes you might not even appreciate what you're doing or it, it's become you're doing it so much. I don't care what you do. You do it so much that it becomes routine to you. Sometimes if you like take a fast from that, you sit back. You can come back for a new found appreciation of it, you know. And sometimes people need to even take fast from, like, in relationships or trying to deal with the opposite sex, you know. Those might be a little bit longer. You know, imagine some men and women, instead of thinking, oh, I got to meet this person, I got to, you know, check my online profile. Why not sit back and just chill for a month? Just chill. Just be with myself for a month. Hey, you'll get amazing results. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want everybody to keep rising and transforming. Peace and blessings.